So, today we start on um, my pond. Before I can do any more digging out front, I've allowed rainwater to uh, accumulate in this pond. So now I have to run an extension cord and a pump to uh, pump this out. And when I get it hooked up, I'm gonna film some more so you can see the fun that I'm having. Okay, I think this, I hope this is enough cord to reach the pond right here. So, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Gotta get another cord. All right, I'll be right back. This is fun. Okay, so I connected the black cord to the orange cord, and I don't have the hose on the uh, on the fountain on the filter yet. But I want you to just see the effects of it bubbling. Okay, I'm gonna leave it doing that for a little bit, and when I come back, I'm gonna add a hose for it to drain out. So I can move it because that's a wider base than I thought to dig. But uh, it's gonna be fun. Okay, here we go. This is fun. Okay, I think it's on enough, and it is draining out. But the bubble, the uh, aeration was more fun to watch. But I got leaves and stuff, but I'm gonna get it as low as I can so that I can turn it over and empty it. Then I gotta carry it around front and actually measure around the base of the pond. Like I said, it's got a bigger footprint than I thought. And uh, I'm gonna see what I can get done today. And then um, as time goes by, the girls that wanted to help, that are able to help, um, I'm hoping that we can get together the uh, third Saturday of July so I'll let you guys know I will contact you I looked at the time of the last video and it was about 20 minutes ago so you saw the level 20 minutes ago and it's almost down uh, to the pump so when the tump, pump starts gurgling I will uh, disconnect it from power. And move it around. I will empty it the rest of the way by hand. I think I can tilt it to the side and it will drain without damaging the liner. And um, I may hose it out just a little bit. But uh, I'm excited. I want to get it in place. It's going to take a little digging. And right now is not a good time for me to dig in that spot because it has the hottest sun. So I may have to wait for the afternoon sun to go away. And I may have to wait till tomorrow to do some more digging. But this is a larger footprint than I thought, and that's good for fish size. 
And I think that lip right there would be where a waterfall feature would fit. So. And of course, beautiful gravel with some water plants for the fish to swim around the back of it. And then I wanna put my pump and my uh, water lily down in the center. That's what I'm wanting to get started. Squirrels are having fun over here, guys. I don't know if you can see it or not. Chasing each other around the tree, making a ruckus. But anyway, um, that area right there is an opening to the creek and the creek runs down the prop back of the property and see where the railroad track is there's two culverts that um the creek goes that way under the bridge okay i'm hoping that uh you can catch all this on film because i gotta lift it up But that black liner is so hot. I'm gonna have to go get some gloves to pick it up. Okay, here we go. bury it to the shelf. So I think that's the position I want it in. You look on camera. See if that's lined up for me. Now I'm gonna turn it just a little bit. the spot I may push it back a little bit ok 
Okay, everybody, dream with me. I know it's not level right now. Okay. I saw this one video where this lady used flour and a scoop to mark that rim where you're going to dig. And uh, I wanted to go ahead and mark it. My husband wanted to use spray paint, which I appreciate. Because if it rains, you know, this flower is probably going to wash away. But uh, I think that's the place that I want it. I want to add the uh, bird bath here. And... Uh, I want to get this out of the sun because it keeps getting hotter and hotter and I'm gonna time the sun today so that would be a good now idea. It looks smaller than it did looking down on the uh, pond. And this is how I'm gonna measure how deep that I need to dig. Please help me out. Thank you. All right, and then what I'm going to do, it looks like about eight and a half inches, so you add an inch because we're gonna put uh, sand in the bottom. And, uh, huh, it sure looked like more than eight inches. I'm gonna measure it again. Just wanted to catch on film, um, you know, my first dig. So, I'm going to go into the center so that I don't disturb the flower. Or at least I'm going to try. Right. 